All right, YouTube. I got a couple of things that I want to share and all that stuff. Kind of a little update of what I've been doing in my own garage for my 614. All right. Um, if you didn't know, I do a lot of the work myself. Um, recently, since the last video, I did post on uh, Facebook that uh, I was going to be painting my exhaust. So, in that process of painting my exhaust, I end up um, going and getting the high heat uh, VHT uh, exhaust paint, all right? And the paint, um, I got black. Well, first I got primer, and then I put black on top of the primer, and then I followed up with this. And it's the VHT, it's the high temp, it's the flame proof, satin clear. All right, and as you can see, it's good up to 2,000 Fahrenheit. All right, so I did the headers, and then I did all the way back to the megaphone, the side one. And uh, with that, it pretty much came out pretty good to be done in the garage. You know, didn't have no uh, vacuum ventilation or anything going on. I just... I painted literally in my garage. Um, I did go ahead and break down. I decided I was going to go ahead and paint one of the nitrous bottles. So when I go to like somewhere like a meat or something, so it'd be a little bit flashy. It's just a two pounder. Um, I keep a couple of nitrous bottles. I got different ones. Uh, on my grudge bike, I got a two and a half, and then I got, I just recently ordered uh, two four pound bottles. All right. And I plan on getting some more. I think I'm gonna end up eventually uh, this summer switching all four pound bottles for the bigger bikes and then for the R1. Uh, when I get it back on the road, I'm gonna go to a two and a half to in a two for that. And, uh, but, R1 is another build series. All right. Other than that, everybody been asking me to do some videos of me riding, launches, you know, all that stuff. And I had talked about me losing my, my GoPro I had. It wasn't nothing special. It was just a four. But I looked at the specs of one I had, and I looked at the specs of the five and the six. And I end up getting something to replace it and end up saving a lot of money. And I looked at the reviews and the videos and all that stuff. And what I ended up getting was this. Now, this is my unboxing of it. Move all this out of the way. All right. And this is their updated one. And it's the Ultra HD Native 4K Edition. It's the V5 version, I mean V50 version. All right. Came with this. This little package right here. And this little package. All right. And let's see. Let's see what we have. You gotta excuse me. I'm doing this all with one hand. All right. Ooh, a charger. Oh, the cord. Now, all this cost me $125. And okay. Two batteries. 64 gig SD card. Oh, it's extreme too. So, this will be my first time opening it. There we go. I'm about to give me another tripod. Just showing y'all 
that I am starting to, to get back into this. Try to figure out. And right now it's like 11.30 at night. I just got off work. And uh, this came earlier today. And I decided I was going to wait and do the unboxing a little bit later. And let's see. Let's see. Oh, there's more tape. I sure did tape it real good. Current video is being uh, video with an iPhone 7 Plus. I've been waiting on to upgrade and all that stuff because I like this size, but it just didn't make sense to me to upgrade to the iPhone 8 uh, Plus uh, when it doesn't do that much more than my 7. All right. Inside the box, we got another battery. So that makes three batteries I have. Or another dual charger. Or a remote. It comes with a remote for it. Okay, that'd be nice. And another battery. So I got four batteries now. And let's see. Pull all this out. Connectors. Definitely, definitely need. And my thing is, if if this works pretty good, I will probably end up getting another one. If I don't go ahead and get the six a little bit later. Um, reason why I have one mounted. I want to have one mounted on the rear of the bike. One on the front of the bike facing forward. And then um, I want to do a, a camera mount on my helmet. Ooh. It's got a breather battery. And zip ties. And another cable, charging cable. And that looks like it's sick because it's got the instructions and the user manual. And, oh, free accessories. So, it comes with accessory bundle, charger, battery, and it comes with 32 gig. Hmm. So, it's, it's a really good buy. Again, I just got this off of Amazon. All right. And I just wanted to go pretty cheap, but I wanted something that... You know, I thought I'd probably be happy with, so I looked at the specs, and it's 4K at 30 frames per second. It's uh, at 2.7K, it's 60 frames per second, I believe, and at 180p, it's 120. All right, and for all, all right. 4K, 30 frames per second. All right. I guess I take it out of case and see really what I'm working with. I mean, I've never bought one of these cheap, cheaper ones. Oh yeah, that's nice. You know, that's I'm an average size guy. Well, a little bit above average. I'm six two. Um, I was about two thirty eight up in that range, but. I've been working out and trying to cut weight, so I'm down to about like 215. And I wear uh, basically a 2X glove, but you know, this is smaller than my fingers, you know. 
about the size long as my pinky finger if it wasn't broken uh, but that's my base of my unboxing so I end up installing the exhaust back on the bike and and just go back on of course it'd be it satin black oh yeah it's gonna be lovely it's satin black and then I'm gonna go ahead and install that so that'd be right there and then satin black I already right, you know it's gonna be a pain trying to get it back on because it was a pain to get it off. And then I put the fairings back on. I took uh took the fairings off really to because I didn't want to get any kind of um residue and all that stuff. I took and wrapped the whole bike up with uh foam wrapping and all that stuff, and I had uh, a blanket over top of it. Excuse me, I'm sorry about the finger. Hmm. Just sending messages. But, um, yeah, you know, I wrapped it up, took as much of the exhaust off I could, and then for the stuff I couldn't take off, I took and put tape around it, and botched, uh, locked it off and everything, and sprayed it. So, I'm pretty happy. Well, I'm going to cut it short, and just let you know, we're in the processes. Next warm day, I plan on having a ride video, um... Maybe I get a mic. That's my plan. Get a mic, and so I can Bluetooth it to it and uh, go that route. If I like it, which will be, I do a review on the next video. I see about buying some more. I'll probably buy one more because I do want the the Hero Six. All right. So next time.